Hi there! At the time of this recording, Comic-Con is currently going on. No, I am not at Comic-Con, because just because you like something that's nerdy because nerdy is suddenly cool, doesn't mean you have to go to conventions, a mentality that really needs to not be encouraged. Yeah, I understand, oh, but hang out with your fellow nerds and all this crowd stuff, no. I do not want to spend time standing around in lines, looking at stuff that I can't afford, and looking at people who I can't actually have sign something because I'm flat broke. Plus, if you've seen MatPat's video talking about how long and how much time and money is lost by waiting in line at San Diego Comic-Con, why the heck would I want to do any of that in my own hometown? Doesn't make sense. Instead, what I'm going to be introducing here is basically yet another topic slash video series lifted from the playbook of Doug Walker, where I take a look at individual episodes of a given series. However, for this first vlog series, I'm not going to be taking a look at anything that's really current, hip, or really in these days. No, instead I'm going to be taking a look at a series that is old. Like, really old. Old in the sense that it actually was a landmark series in the history of anime, as well as giving insight into the distribution of anime here in the US. People who know me personally know I've been going through on a bit of a sci-fi kick lately, and one particular series I've been trying to get into is Space Battleship Yamato. Now, for those of you who don't know, Space Battleship Yamato is an anime series from the mid-70s, let me double check, yeah, mid-70s, that was produced by Yoshinobu Nishizaki, and is known as a series that kind of kick-started the career of one Leiji Matsumoto, the guy who would go on to create Galaxy Express 3-9, Space Pirate Captain Harlock, Queen Emeraldus, Galaxy Railways, the list goes on and on with what that guy does, and so he doesn't really need any introduction. But, there's a problem. You see, we don't really have access to Space Battleship Yamato here in the U.S. I mean, yeah, we have access to the live-action movie, but I don't want to re the, re review the live-action movie just yet until after I've kind of gone through the animated series to really understand and see where it's coming from. And there's no simulcast agreements with Crunchyroll, Hulu, or any other video distribution site to gain access to the new series that was airing in Japan, Space Battleship Yamato 2199. So that leaves me with only one option. And that option is the American adaptation of Space Battleship Yamato that goes by the name of Star Blazers. Now, Star Blazers was produced by Voyager Media, which is basically a subsidiary of the Stars Media Corporation. I'm only guessing that it's a subsidiary of Stars Media because Stars Media are basically the company that has the videos on demand available on Hulu and on YouTube. So, Rather than try to hunt down and use illegal methods or pirated methods to get access to some of this series, especially considering that Yamato 2199 actually does have a U.S. distributor who's really charging way too frickin' much for the episodes. I mean, come on, 50 bucks for four episodes? That's ridiculous. Anyway, instead of using illegal methods, I decided I'll take a look at what's available to me and review the American adaptation. Now, given that I haven't seen the original Space Battleship Yamato, I can't really gauge for any faithfulness, so I'll pretty much have to look at the series as a series. I'll mention some things that I noticed that may have happened as a result of them dubbing it, but that's pretty much the way it's going to go down. Now, it's not going to be as fancy as my normal reviews, because it's not going to really have this lighting, because it's going to be more of an informal series of vlogs that I'll just get around to shooting when I get the chance. The only reason I'm shooting this and the first episode review now is because I have the lighting equipment set up, and I figured might as well. So, yeah... That's pretty much what this is going to be, is that I'm going to be taking a look at each episode of Star Blazers. I'm namely going to be focusing on Season 1, because that's kind of the first major arc of the story. But if I want to keep it going and look at Seasons 2 and 3, then I'll probably do that, depending on how much demand there is for the videos. So, yeah, this is going to be a kind of an informal thing, and that's all I really have to say about that. So, yeah, hopefully it'll work, hopefully it won't backfire, so let's do this.